how does our past affect our future? Here at the TEDx Yaba 2017 event team, past, present, and future, speakers will be sharing ideas that could possibly change the way we see the past, the present, and could shape the future. My name is Princess Emma, and this is Tech City at TEDx Yaba 2017. TEDx Yaba is such an important um, part of the growth of this ecosystem. It's such an important new voice, right? Um, TEDx globally is about sharing ideas that are worth sharing, right? And with every single um, uh, speaker that we've had today, you can see that the ideas that um, have been shared are new, some of them surprising, some of them um, a new take on, um, on ideas we're all fond of and that we know. Um, but each of these things are ideas that need to grow, and this is that seed that can water them and get them out there. Um, and you know, just just listening to people like Seni, um, you know, from Mandela, um, who's just you know building out new um, founders, right, uh, leaders, right, in technology, um, to Omobola Johnson, right, who's really spearheading um, that thrust for African-based investments, right, that are doing investments at scale, right, to the amazing artists and uh, cultural figures that have really spoken um, about what Africa can really show the rest of the world. It's amazing. My experience so far at this TED event, it's actually been amazing. The speakers are very good, very, very good, and the energy in the house so far has been very cool too. So the very first thing I actually tapped in when I got in was the fact that uh, it is very important that you, you bring a kind of relationship between your past and your present, so you are able to give the forecast, a very good forecast about the future. And on the other hand as well, it is also very important that you don't bring a kind of a conflict between your past and your present, so that you don't miss the future. Any child in this country, on this continent, can pick up a, a computer and learn anything from some of the smartest people anywhere in the world. So that's not going to be our excuse. The thing I'm worried about is that last point around leadership. And I think that is the Achilles heels of Africa, if we're not careful. What did you think about the theme, the past, the present, and the future? I think it's fantastic, and that's pretty much what my entire talk was about. I think that if you think about the future in isolation, uh, you, you pretty much, uh, I think, are setting up yourself for disaster because your past and your present really influence where you're going. And if you think about where, um, if, if you basically look at an object in motion, you can kind of predict where it's going based on the speed it's moving in and direction. So if you have no idea where that is and you just look at the object at a snapshot in time, you actually have no idea where it's going. So how can you plan where to go if you don't even know where you're coming from? And so I think this event is um, you know, pretty much on point in that, in that regard. How possible do you think it's for the youth of today to be able to tell the stories of your future? Oh, it's it's already happening. It's it's not even far-fetched because um, storytelling also allows you to use your imagination and you can paint whatever future you think you want to see. And But then again, it, it's the minds need to be well formed with stories from the past, which is what I was trying to say. That with the stories from the past, you're able to now see the present and shape the future that you want. And of course, young people have technology at their disposal to tell the stories as they want to. As uh, the MC, right, for the event, um, it's just been an absolute pleasure um, to not only get to introduce some of these um, emerging leaders and voices, but even be able to engage them one-on-one -on -one in important ways where you're asking questions that you know people want to ask, but not you, they don't usually have that access um, to, uh, to, to, to put forward these kind of questions, right? Especially say with Omobola Johnson, right? And those questions were really important to me and to see the way that they were answered, right? It really gives me a lot of hope um, for this ecosystem. So um, overall, I think that it's been well-rounded, um, diverse voices, um, the interaction with the, with the crowd, you can see that people really are um, engaging with the ideas and thinking about it in new ways and that's important because it's the audience that, um, that is key um, going out of this. That's the key outcome. I have been inspired and hope you were too. This was TEDx Yaba 2017 with great ideas worth sharing. My name is Princess Emma and this is Tech City.